Fred Acosta from SVG back with another edition of SVG's Sports Tech On Demand, our video interview series taking you around the world of live sports video production technology. Today, we have the distinct pleasure to be joined by Andy Feinberg. He's the Global Director of Sales Solution Specialist for Wild Mocha. Andy, how are you doing, sir? I'm doing great. How are you today? Doing great. Uh, you guys are doing some fantastic work in the field of AI. Uh, I, I'm wondering before we dive into some of the specifics of what you guys are working on as a company, uh, what's what's one or two of the really big trends you guys are keeping an eye on in the industry that you feel uh, a lot of your efforts are kind of being guided towards? Uh, how is AI having a, a very tangible impact on the world of live sports production right now? Yeah, it's it's definitely a huge topic. It's, it's probably one of the biggest things we hear. Um, and, and a lot of that really evolves around that conversation with the client to understand what automation means to them. It means so many things to so many different people. Um, and we've really taken two uh, products that we have that offer around automation. One of those being the automation of sports content, creating clips and highlights and summaries automatically based on those events. And then being able to basically take your existing content that's formatted into a 16 by nine and reformat that into a native nine by 16 format to be more engaging with the clients or the end viewers on their mobile devices. Got it. And your live vertical rezone was a product that you guys launched last year that has been very, very well received by the industry. Uh, what, uh, what is uh, new with that product and what's that offering your sports clients right now? Yeah. So, so last year we launched with two news markets, uh, two broadcasters over in Europe, and it was very well received. Um, it's patent pending. We've had a couple of awards uh, this year that, that we've won from the technology and we've seen that evolve from what initially started as a news vertical to really the sports market has taken a hold of this technology as well. So imagine being able to watch uh, a match on your phone vertical. Typically, you know, it's 16 by nine. You've either got to flip your phone around or it's letterboxed. But what we've been able to do really is take that area of focus, right? Zoom in on the player and put that in the picture. But then at the top of the phone, put the full 16 by nine view, right? So that's just mm -hmm. one application that we've used. Or when you break away, um, you know, maybe at halftime, or during an interview during the game, right? Again, instead of having a 16 by nine, you got to flip your phone back and forth. We take those elements within that broadcast, basically deconstruct the 16 by nine image and reconstruct it as a nine by 16 image with all your graphics and logos and overlays so that it's more enticing and engaging to the viewer in a 16 by nine mobile format. No, for sure. Now, as you guys look ahead to the, you know, kind of the short term future here, the next six months, 12 months or so, um, how do you see this segment of the industry continuing to grow? And where are the really exciting opportunities that you're seeing, especially as it pertains to sports right now? Yeah, so to two big markets, um, sports specifically is the growth of, you know, apps and mobile alerts and getting highlights into mobile. And again, that making that content more viewable in, in a mobile friendly format. Mm -hmm. um, and then obviously a lot of buzz and talk around the betting in regards to, you know, mobile apps and betting and stats and instant highlights. So that's really where we're seeing a lot of growth in our market. And a lot of interest is uh, you have, you know, your broadcasters and your rights holders, and then you have kind of this new area of content creators who are using that content and that data, and they want to get that out to their viewers in a timely manner. Um, whether it be horse or football or soccer, whatever the case may be, uh, really getting that content out quickly uh, with all that metadata tagged to it is really important to them. Yeah, it's really interesting. I'm curious, uh, do you have any examples of some case studies or some use cases of uh, your products out there being used by sports clients? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, you consider a global sport client like B and Sport. Um, they're using Wild Mocha. They're using it in, in multiple regions. And again, different levels of this automation. Uh, we're creating clips, we're creating highlights, we're auto-publishing content into uh, social and OTT app for them, uh, League One, and, and they have an app free. And again, they're taking advantage of the ability for us to create that content, re-verticalize it or rezone it into a vertical format and push it out to their mobile app. Um, and even as I mentioned in the sports betting market, um, so clients like SportsGrid, um, they're using Wild Milk as they're creating their own um, originated content and clipping and publishing that content out as well. Oh, with so much content in sports and in everything really being consumed on those mobile devices, like you said, uh, really exciting opportunities here for sports broadcasters. So Andy, we really appreciate the work that you and Wild Milk are doing, and we really appreciate you taking the time to uh, catch us up on it today. It's been a pleasure. Thanks so much. Yeah. Thanks so much for taking the time. He's Andy Feinberg. He's with Wild Mocha. Learn more about what they are up to and watch the rest of the SVG Sports Tech On Demand series right now over at sportsvideo.org.